Blast Darby, which is Ola. So finally, I am here. I'm going to share this really quick. Oh my gosh. I've been having some technical difficulties, uh, but the funny thing is the minute I decided to do this video and figured out I can do it live, live's working now for me, um, the dogs are barking and scratching the neighbor's dogs. So we'll get through this. We'll have fun. Uh, I hope everyone's having a blessed day so far. I'm going to share this in, um, in a group. Uh, the Healing uh, Crystals Sellers Group. Uh, you'll see the link. Uh, I'm helping out a dear friend. I'm helping out my friend, Elisa, and she's having a sale, uh, her crystal sale, crystals, oils. She finds a lot of cool shit. So uh, let me, I think that's it. Okay, let me share it there. Sorry, I'm a hot mess right now. So many different distractions at once. Oh, maybe she shared it. Let me see. Oh, she did not share it. Let me be back. Okay. I'll share it later, if anything. Or if anyone's in the... Well, it's all good. Mercury retrograde realness. We're going to do a card reading. We're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy. My hair is a hot mess today because, because, because uh, um, it is a dog thing. I know they're just like, they were quiet. Video. Ah, thank you. Um, so, uh, yeah, I decided to just, you know what? I'm going to be here. I'm going to do the video. We're going to have fun. I don't need to worry about being put together because I do like to. I enjoy, you know, making sure I don't have crazy ass hair looking like I set my finger in a socket and um, but uh, I also like to be real. This, you know, this is my look today. It is. Uh, and I have a, I have a mess, y'all. I've been crocheting some stuff, so cool. Uh, I'm just gonna ramble and shuffle so we can prepare. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Audrey. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna work with getting into the Vortex cards. We are also going to work with, uh, the Rider Waite Smith Tarot. Um, and this, I will be doing, uh, other, can you hear that? They're crazy. Calm down. Shoot. Um, so this is, I'll be doing other videos uh, during Elisa's sale in the group. So definitely join the group, follow her sale. Uh, but I will be doing other videos. And this is not my card. I do like a daily reading. Um, now my husky's over here, y'all. You know, I'll be doing a, a uh, like a, a daily reading or some sort of reading in the group that's separate from this, but um, I'll also be doing other videos. And the theme of the uh, of the sale is more like past life exploration, past life discovery. So it's gonna be really cool. We'll be doing um, some cool stuff there. Uh, but I am trying to focus now, y'all. Hey, Ange. Hey, Kate. <sighs> the dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, y'all. So, hey, Helen, hey, Brandy. Hey, Holly. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, yeah, this reading, though, this reading is going to be about Mercury, communicating with Mercury, communicating with, you know, the retrograde energy, and really what message does, you know, Mercury have for us to, to work through this, uh, his adventure through Pisces, and just realize, like, uh, you know, it's information. We, we tend to like, oh, no, what's going to happen now? Yes, I've had technical issues. Yes, I've had all these other challenges, but, but through those challenges, it's like, okay, it's not negative. It's simply information. So it's not a negative experience. It is information for me to work with, and it's like, okay, maybe I need to calm down a little bit. Maybe I need to relax. Maybe I need to not, uh, you know, do that at that time. And so instead of allowing myself to get so mad or, or you know, worked up over the, the adventurous Mercury uh, <laughs> retrograde Pisces experience, uh, I'm like, okay, I can learn from this. I'm going to work with this. It's, it's all good. I'm going to have crazy hair. The dogs are going to bark, you know. Stuff's going to happen. It's fine. We're going to still have fun. We're going to still, you know, do our work. And that's what, I think that's what really matters during retrograde is like taking it as information, utilizing it, and just making it work the best you can. And sometimes it's just like, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm going to lay down, right? But hey, Julia. Hey, Angela. 
Hey, Julie, Cynthia, Tori. Hey, hey, Tori. Hey, girl. <laughs> okay, so I'm fasting and I've had coffee. Bear with me. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to shuffle. And as I shuffle, I ramble. So definitely take some time to connect with yourself. Take some time to ground and center and just, you know, tune in with yourself. Give yourself this moment with us, our shared experience. You know, give yourself this time to just focus on you. Focus on what you need. Focus on what you want to experience and just focus on all that good energy uh, that's it, coursing through you and that's available to us, okay? So just, and I'm sure like any minute now, there's like a parrot that lives two two houses down. Y'all, parrots can be pretty, but they they're who they're the sound that they make. Have y'all heard? Like the sound they make is a, atrocious. It is terrible. It is it sounds like something being murdered. They are not cute. They do not have a voice. Like, let's just be honest. So a few more shuffles and we'll get through this. Anasa. Sorry. That's my dog, Anasa. Uh, just wait. I might have to shut the window, but it's hot. The coffee is boosting me. Okay, so one, two, or three, the first number that pops into your head, one, two, or three, go ahead and comment or write it down. This is about your experience. So if you don't want to engage, if you don't want to comment, I absolutely understand. Uh, write it down and just take notes. Absolutely fine. Um, so one, two, or three, the first number that pops into your head, go ahead and comment or write it down and realize the way that I do this reading, all three cards are a part of our reading. The card that you choose is your focal piece. So it just helps you to tune in and, and take a general reading and make it a little more personal, right? So that's why we do that. Um, yes. Ooh, I have a new glasses. Hey, ooh, a haircut. Watch out. Awesome. <sighs> Shoot, the spirits were like running through this hair as I slept, that's for sure. Uh, believe it or not, when I woke up, it was worse, worse. Um, hey, Mona Lee, good to see you, good to see you. Uh, so one, two, or, oh, CBD treats, yes. Yes, that's a good idea. Okay, so all the cards too, awesome, okay. Uh, all right, so one, two, or three, and let us get to the show on the road. So just know that I'm also going to work with the Rider Waite Smith. So we're going to start with the getting into the Vortex cards, and we're going to use the the Waite Smith deck after as well, and we're with it. So the first card, card one, and again, this is our time together. So feel free to share your thoughts, add your perception, because we are co-creating this experience, right? So Definitely feel free to engage. So the first card is the law of attraction assembles all cooperative relationships. The law of attraction assembles all cooperative relationships. That's cute. Look at the card. Don't pay, just don't don't judge me for my mess of a nail. Yeah. Uh, so there is this vortex of becoming, a vortex that contains all of the requests, all of the amended requests, each and every detail of each and every asking that has emanated from you. And the law of attraction is responding to that. The vortex is literally drawing in all things necessary for the completion of every request it contains. All cooperative components are being summoned and are coming for the completion of these creations, for the answering of these questions, and for the solutions to these problems. So all cooperative components are being summoned and are coming for the completion of these creations, for the answering of these questions, and for the solutions to these problems. So the law of attraction assembles all cooperative relationships. How does that make you feel? What pops up for you? Uh, let's discuss that. I, um, I like that, you know, and again, remember, this is, you know, how to work through Mercury retrograde and Pisces and, 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 you know, come out pretty well, pretty well. So I'm feeling good about this one too. Yes. Hey, Nettie. Oh, I love seeing your name. Thank you. Uh, hey, Julie. Uh, hey, Aisha. Hi, girl. Hey, witch. Uh, hey, Oli. So the law of attraction assembles all cooperative relationships. And what I, you know, feel from this, and again, let me know what you feel so we can, you know, uh, 
work with each other. Uh, but I really do feel like during this retrograde experience, emotions, obviously, because Pisces, Pisces, water, emotions, psychic energy, um, we really need to be very aware of the types of relationships that we are engaging in and not just like what other people are to us, like how other people treat us, but we also need to be very aware of how we treat other people and what we are gaining uh, in, in each and every relationship that we maintain and we cultivate, right? And so it's very important because again, you know, when we are in alignment with, with our authentic nature, with who we are, when we are vibing, right, whatever we are vibing at the moment, we realize we are calling to us energy. So we are calling to us relationships. So uh, any type of relationship, it doesn't have to be a person, it can be a situation, it can be a plant it could be you know any type of relationship that we have or that we're building uh the law of attraction assembles all cooperative relationships so where we are currently that's that's the vibe that we are emanating right that's what we're vibing we're like humming and so whatever we're thinking whatever we're feeling whatever we are experiencing at that moment that is in a sense sending energy out to find anything that we've called forth right that that matches that energy does that make sense does that make sense um so it, it, it's it's reminding us to be very aware it doesn't say we have to be perfect it, it doesn't say that we have to be any type of way other than the way that we want and, and are. And so it just makes us aware of how we participate in our own life story and how we engage with other people and how other people engage with us and how the, the co-creative energy, the relationships work well or they do not work well. And so Mercury is definitely coming in and expressing like, look, it's time to pay attention to our relationships. It's time to pay attention to what we are putting up with and, and what we are, are working to enhance and what we are not feeling well about and, and anything, any any type of um, information that comes up, it's not just what we, makes us feel good, it's not, it's, it's, it's information. So whatever comes up for us, we need to pay attention to it. And, and when we are in that vibration, like let's say uh, we really want good relationships, we really want loving and, and caring and supporting relationships, but if we're not feeling loving, caring or supportive, and if we feel some type of way, then we probably shouldn't focus on loving, caring relationships at that time because our energy will matter match the, the the other our energy will match what we don't want correct and so it, it's important for us when we feel really good and, we, and we're happy this is me being happy apparently i don't know what that means but um so when we're feeling really good it's important to take advantage of that not just feel so good which is awesome but we also need can you hear the dog barking let me know if you can because i don't know i i hear it obviously but i don't know if it filters through the mic Ugh. Whatever, it's all good. Um, so, but it, it's reminding us, like, you know, to focus when we feel really good and we feel positive, that then we can direct our thoughts. This is the direction of thoughts, so just in case you didn't know. But um, we can direct our thoughts to the things we want to experience more of. And and that's uh, uh, that helps us. And then when we're not feeling that great, when we're feeling kind of lackluster, then what, what works well for us is to focus on reaching for the next best thing for us. So if we're not feeling that great, maybe look at surrounding ourselves, not to lie to ourselves and, and cheat ourselves out of feeling the, the current experience that we're feeling, but to remind us that, hey, when we want to change, we can. So when we're experiencing something that's not necessarily the highest and best for us, or we don't like it at the moment, we can we can choose something that feels a little better when we're ready. So it's not saying ignore your feelings, it's saying when you are ready to choose something better, whatever that means, then just choose it and then you can climb Climb that ladder, move those steps, whatever, whatever. You know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, hey, Linda. Um, okay, good things are coming for absolutely, and you are going to, you are coming for some good things, absolutely. Uh, so. Be aware of the emotions we send out. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's it's the law of attraction assembles all cooperative cooperative relationships. So be um be aware of you know what we are accepting and what we are open to receiving, what we are participating in in relationships, and know that the types of relationships that we're experiencing that are coming at us on some level, again, there might be something within us that is calling that. You know that that is saying, hey, okay. A part of me is, is accepting that. And, and so do I like this or do I not like this? If I don't like this, then what do I actually like? And then I can focus on what I want and, and how to get there. So that's something to, to be uh, aware of. So that's card one. Um, 
And let's see, I wish for a different spot to do my homework. It was, yeah, <laughs> I hear you. Okay, you hear the dogs? All right. Bastards. So, and I'm trying not to swear because I realize this is being shared in Elisa's group. So I try not to swear there um, to be just to be respectful. Uh, it's very hard. Let me just say. So card two, card two is I intend to see the best in everyone. Huh. I intend to see the best in everyone. How does that make you feel? Right? So you can never consistently motivate anybody to anything. But when you see the best of them and you go over to where your version of the best of them is and you align with that and offer one signal, now you are part of the inspiration you see. Have you ever had the experience yourself when someone sees you and loves you and expects the best of you? Do you not shine in ways you never shined before? And do you not find it really hard to shine when another does not look for the best in you. So how does that make you feel? What, what pops up for you? I intend to see the best in everyone. Again, remember this is a message from Mercury and how to work through retrograde. <sighs> so let me, let's see, what, what, how do you feel? What do you experience with this? Hello, Marley. I know. I know, poor little pups. They're not little, they're big little. Mm. So, peace and love from the edge board. Hey, hey Stephanie. Okay, so I intend to see the best in everyone. And what I appreciate about this, because I have to also be very aware because sometimes I'm like, well, not everyone has a good side. I don't, I don't feel, but that's me being judgmental. And, and, and in reality, everyone is, is, is good to someone in their life experience. You know, someone believes that they're good, right? Or, or, you know, the best, you know? And so it's important for me to, while this might not be my experience with someone, that's not necessarily the truth for, for everybody. So I have to be mindful of that. Um, be as open to receive as we are giving up our energies, feels like collaboration. Oh, I like that energy. So yes, co-creative energies, I like that. Uh, yes, a lot of trouble. <laughs> I always tend to see the good in people. Yeah, and that's where, that's the thing, Cynthia. It's like, we have to be very discerning. Just because we choose to see the best in everyone doesn't mean that that they are, uh, we have to be very discerning in this because we can see the best in people. That is absolutely fine. That helps. But that does not mean that the the the, the individuals, it, it, they have to be the best of themselves. That doesn't mean that they have to, um, act it out. Just because we see the best in people and we act, we know what they're capable of, it doesn't mean that it's a healthy experience. It doesn't mean that we have to put up with their toxicity. It doesn't mean that, you know, all the other stuff. But that also doesn't mean we cannot see the best in people and move on. Does that make sense? And so uh, that's something we have to very uh, well consider. Hard to use my card. It draws narcissists to me. I wish it wouldn't. Uh-huh. Uh, I should be more tolerant towards my other. <laughs> uh, it is wonderful. Yeah. Um, it can be challenging. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, that's why I go back to like, okay, they're, they're good. Someone in, in their life experience, you know, perceives good from them. Right. Uh, so I doesn't like, I can, you know, there are people that have given me some really, really intense and really, really challenging experiences, and I could easily be like, I hate you. But I, I've i learned a lot from the, the engagement. I've learned a lot from the experiences, and I I don't want to be the type of person, for me, I'm not telling, what, telling you what to believe, and again, let me know what your thoughts are. I don't want to be the type of person that holds on to that shit, because then it just makes me angry. It makes me unbearable. It makes me like a... Mm, I'm cussing, sorry. Um, it makes me crotchety. It, it makes me, you know, grumpy and, and, and just gross. I don't like, I don't like myself when I feel that way. So 
I've learned to appreciate the experiences that I've had with these people. I've also, like, I know what you're capable of. I, I see good in you. I see your potential. And, and But that doesn't mean you have to live up to it. That doesn't mean you should. It is entirely up to you to choose what you want for your life. But I know you're capable of greatness. I know that you're capable of, of stepping into something good. So I choose to see the best in, in the individuals. But I also, when they're not, you know, healthy for me, I also am able to walk away. I'm also like, I still see you the best, you know, in, in the best version of yourself. And I hope that you get there. But for me right now, the relationship that we've created together or the situation that we create together, are not healthy. And so I get to walk away, but I get to walk away and still see them as the best versions of themselves. Does that make sense? And so I don't, I don't carry like, just, I don't hold on to them and see the best version of themselves waiting for them to get there when it's not, a good experience when it's not healthy for me. So it's like I can still walk forward and, and move forward and, and hold space for them, seeing the best of them and, and letting them letting them work that out. That's their life. It's their choice, right? So Mercury, uh, choose my choice, and I've come to understand just because we see it doesn't mean there's not work. Exactly. Uh, exactly. We're not lying to ourselves, um, but it means that we can hold space for seeing the best of the individual. Because if we focus on the best, it, it creates, it, it can create an atmosphere of growth. So, so other individuals, they feel that energy from us, and they can choose to, again, we are not doing this to them, but we can create an atmosphere where they feel safe and they can feel that space where, okay, I can, you know, step it up or I cannot. It's up to them. We just get to be the people who choose to focus on the better. Does that make sense? Uh... Uh, and does it mean that we have to have them in our life seeing the best and detaching is like, absolutely Mona Lee, absolutely. Why do I feel like your picture changes like every two seconds? I keep seeing, I don't know, uh, be open and look at the positive side, ignore the BS so that it doesn't shadow the energy you want to put out during the Mercury retrograde. Absolutely, yes, I like that. Yes, I like that. Uh, let's see, it'll be a year in May, last year for five years. Uh, was the worst narcissist between him and the two ex-husbands found out after being in a group that the two ex-husbands were narcs, uh, narcs, narcs, yeah. Um, yeah, never ignore your intuition. Yeah, always, always allow information to come through. Uh, no negative Nancy's take too much of our energies in the negative. It is a positive mindset, vibration, at love, good. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Manuel, good to see you. Mm hmm I've been so busy, I've not been able to tune in for a while. I've been missing, oh, hey. Uh, I hear you, busy. Well, hello, Crystal. So I intend to see the best in everyone. It's, it's again, we have to be very aware, because um, I feel like sometimes people just think, well, I don't want to see the good in everybody. Like, they, I, they, we automatically assume seeing the best in everyone means that we are condoning or means that we are accepting of of. of things that we judge as flaws or we judge as something else, but it's not. It's simply putting us in a vibration. It's putting us in a space where we can appreciate and see the best in, in people and feel good because again, we are choosing to feel how we feel and not allowing for other individuals, other sources, outside sources to, to influence, influence us and tell us how we should feel. I need a drink, so uh, coffee it is. Let me know what you think as I drink. Hello. Hello. Um, so, card three. <sighs> card three is beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them. Beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them. So ask yourself, how does that make you feel? Let me show you the card. So, Beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them. There are things in your environment that you believe that match what you want. And there are all kinds of things in your environment that you believe that defy what you want. How would you ever sort them out? How do you know the active beliefs within you that serve you well and the active beliefs that do not serve you? How do you know the beneficial beliefs from the, the uh, detrimental ones? The beneficial beliefs feel better when you think them. The detrimental ones feel worse when you think them. Well, well, well. Okay, Mercury. Retrograde Pisces realness. Um, Awesome. Have have some wine for me. I wish I could drink. Damn it. 
I mean, sugar. Um, beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them. So how does that make you feel? What comes up for you? Let us talk about that. And so uh, I like it. I like the I like the concept. I like the energy that's uh, that's coming from this. And and as we progress through retrograde and, and we find different communication things, different technology things that are, are not necessarily the best or, or working the best, and we're having issues. Uh, it's like okay, let me let me ground, let me center, let me find my space. Apparently, this is finding my space. I don't know. Um, and let me tune back to soul, tune back to spirit, and ask myself, does this feel really good? When I'm thinking about something, does it feel good to me? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to go with that. When I think about it, does it feel not so good? Does it feel mm, harsh or, or something that is uh, feels gross? Yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to entertain that vibration. I'm not going to entertain that energy. Does that make sense? And so, I like it because, again, it reminds us when we, like, intend to see the best in everyone and, and when we realize, like, you know, everything that, that's uh, emanating from us, we are pulling that vibration, pulling that energy to us. And so it's reminding us that we can navigate our world by paying attention to how we feel and, and not just how we feel, but when we think things and when we witness things and how it makes us feel, how it makes us feel can help us follow those like breadcrumbs and and um, choose more of those good feeling things so we can navigate our situation and pull through good energy and 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 more so not um, carry with us the things that don't feel that great right Beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them, but thank them also would be, you know, gratitude also is a great thing. So yeah, uh, lots of thinking. Uh, positive mindsets brings good things to you and vice versa. Yes, positive mindset, but also understanding... Uh, this is my this is my thing with the law of attraction, and I, I have to always make sure to express this. It's not just a positive mindset. It's honoring the mindset that you are currently creating and making sure that you don't just focus on something good without honoring the the challenge, the friction, the chaos that that you are also experiencing, or you were you were um, experiencing that that moment. And so it's definitely being aware. It's definitely honoring the things that you're you're going through, but knowing that you can choose to feel better. And by choosing to feel better, you are choosing to focus in on things that make you feel what better. Um, so it's not lying to yourself. It's saying, look, I'm going through something, but I'm also going to ch uh, choose something that's going to make me feel better as I process this. So yeah, so trying to stay positive during frustrating or hurtful moments and, and fall back on and trust the gods. Uh, let's see. I know, I, I should try and do that, but right now it's like, a, I don't know, it makes me nervous. I But I will definitely, because I, I do love my wine, I do. So I will have to, I'm going to. Thank you for reminding me that. Um, so beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them. Hmm. All right. It, it, it's, you know, Mercury telling us, look, I'm going to uproot some stuff for you. I'm going to, I'm going to provide you with an awesome experience. We're going to have an adventure. Retrograde in Pisces is going to be a psychic, emotional ride, and we're going to have a lot of fun, but Mercury's also tricky, tricky, tricky. So that means that fun is most likely going to be on Mercury's end, and it's not going to seem as fun to us, or it might. It might, but the reward as we work through, as we process is oh, you just can't, like we can't even fathom the, the amazing reward from being able to navigate our space through retrograde and Pisces and, and to just, you know, ride the energy with Mercury and say, look, these things are being given to me. I can focus on this. Yes, this challenge. This is an awesome challenge. This is an awesome experience. Cool, right? Cool. Uh, but now I, I, I see it for what 
avoid this? How can I work through this? Uh, the law of attraction assembles all cooperative relations as well. I know that I can focus on how I engage with this. So it's my relationship to what's going on. So well, how do I feel right now? Right now, I'm kind of upset and mad and frustrated, but cool. Well, I'm still choosing just, this is a lesson, this is an experience, whatever, cool. Um, not really cool, but whatever. Um, so we have that process in our in, internal dialogue. Um, but it's like, okay, I see this. I can change my relationship with this. I can start thinking of it in a different way and feeling it in a different way. And then I intend to see the best in everyone. And so during retrograde, I, I retrograde, um, I get to see interesting aspects of people, different aspects of relationships, but I can still see the best of that relationship. Whether the other source, other individual chooses to do that or not, that's on them, but I, I can choose to see the best in this experience. And that makes me feel really, really good, right? And so as I'm choosing to see the best and I'm choosing to focus on my relationship with these things, then, ooh, watch out, baby. Yeah. See, I'm trying, I'm trying, y'all, I'm really trying. Um, beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them. I'm really trying. Uh, beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them. And then it's like, okay, I'm just gonna focus on the thought patterns that make me feel really good. And then when I, I come up to something that doesn't feel that great, I'm gonna listen to that. That's information for me. Okay, I don't feel great about that. Cool, this is an opportunity for growth or this is an opportunity to just drop it and like walk the other way or run, you know, book it, like just go. Uh, but it, it's, it's, it's information. And that's what Mercury is about. Communication, information, that data. And so we get to use this to our advantage. And I feel like that's like the big message here uh, with uh, Mercury uh, retrograde in Pisces. Like this is all inspiring us. Like, look, you have control of your life situation. You don't have to think that uh, other source has control over you. You can navigate your world. You can navigate your emotional experiences. You can navigate your spiritual experiences. Focus on honoring all aspects choose to work these tools in and you'll 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 be you know laughing it up with mercury on the other side so that's what these cards are expressing i'm going to pull some tarot cards i know this is a long video though i would apologize but i enjoy doing it and i enjoy talking to you so um, i'm going to pull some tarot cards for this as well to give us a little more insight uh but if you have any last minute thoughts on the, these cards please feel free to comment let me know uh i'm also um i have a lot of cool stuff that i have been doing and stuff that i'm going to be implementing uh, so definitely be sure to uh, follow me on social media, Instagram, uh, everywhere, uh, because those are just different chances, different spaces that you can actually receive some cool stuff. But for sure, check me out on YouTube. Uh, I have fun. I have fun. So... Okay, this is where you can tell me which uh, stack to choose from. One, two, or three. I'll choose the... Sorry, you guys. My eyes are all over the place. One, two, or three. The the first, uh, the, oh, my Atlantis. <sighs> so, one, two, or three, the number that gets the most votes that I can actually be aware of, um, that's the stack we'll choose from for this next. Uh... <laughs> Do you... Let, uh, sorry, uh, do you let how you feel depict the meaning of a situation? Uh, what do you, what, how, what do you mean by that? I, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by that. So do you let how you feel depict the meaning of a situation? I let how I feel um, be information. I let how I feel come across as data. And so how I feel in a situation, that's that's how I engage in that situation. So it's like if I enter a situation, let's see, let's say I'm entering a room and there's other people in the room, they're talking, and I don't know what, about what, but if I enter the room and I feel this, like this, mm, this, let's say, I hate using the term, but negative vibe, if I feel a negative energy, and then I pay attention to like body language and such, and it, it feels directed at me, I feel like, okay, maybe I'm not wanted here, maybe they're talking about me. And so I'll read the situation, okay, 
I don't, I don't belong here right now. And I'll remove myself. Um, I try to make sure that I base my, my, my decisions on more than just one thing. So it'll be intuition, it'll be psych spirit, psychic energy, it will be how I feel, like my emotions, uh, how I feel what's coming up because I, I trust myself well enough, I know myself well enough where I can uh, discern what, it, what I am picking up and maybe what I'm actually projecting from any insecurities, right? And sometimes I ask, like, oh, hey, do you see this? Do you feel this too? Yes. Okay. Well, this is what's going on. Then I'm going to read it as I as I feel. <sighs> Take a breath. See through grumpiness and see the true person behind it. Think about your feelings and responses and choose the better feeling. Perfect. Right. I know. Right. Because Retro is like, ah, you suck. You suck. Why are you talking to me? You. You're ugly. Not really. Well, sometimes. Your personality is ugly. Um, I'm just saying, this is the stuff that comes up during retrograde. We're like, oh my gosh, someone just went quick ray. Let's calm down. Um, and, and yeah, tequila. Mm -hmm. Don't text the ex or cut your bangs. Never cut your bangs. No. Go to a professional. Mm, three, three, two. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... Um, no, I, I might have been live, so I haven't seen a private message. I'll check for it after the video. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, so we're going to go with sec three. Um, let's see. Yeah, if you're in, if you're not in a good mood, then maybe uh, before you react, reset, uh, yes, assess the situation. My 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 advice is to never react if you can. It's hard, it's challenging for me. Like I'm like react, react, react. I'm all over the place and I react. Like it's very challenging for me. I try not to, but um, I try to respond. So it's like if I feel like I'm actually reacting to something, like boom, let's go. The hoops are down. Let's go. Uh, I try to take a step back. Whew. And if I'm not in a good mood, then I try to get myself in a good mood because I, if I'm not in a good mood and then everything in that day or until I get myself into a good mood is going to be filtered through that bad mood. So I know that's something that I have to get to that core, the core of the situation, right? <sighs> okay, cool. Yeah, it, I, I'll check it, definitely. Um, I'll check my messages. So we're going to work with the tarot. We took from... from uh, What am I trying to say? We took from stack three. Y'all, just y'all. All right. We're good. We're okay. We're going to survive, right? We're going to be fine. <laughs> I know. So you're, Cynthia, absolutely right. Before I go into these cards, some people just know how to push your buttons to get you to react. And they do. And it is, it's a very Fox card in the Lenormand. Um which I'm learning, so yay me. Uh, but it, they do, and that's that's so frustrating to me because like, I and I've been really good at it because sometimes I just, boom, hoops are down. I'm like, let's go. I can be a chola for sure. <sighs> Sharpie eyebrows and my lip liner, I got it. Um, and some flannel, uh, but yes. And then they're like trying to pull you into this reaction and you're, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm trying so hard not to, but I'm being pulled into this reaction. And then you're like, no, because they're trying to make me be seen or perceived a certain way. They want me to react because they want me to be the, the, the bad version or they want me to be, uh, you know, whatever in their story. I am not going to participate because I can do this, I can do this. I'm not going to react, I'm not going to participate. I will not engage. I know how I feel. I know who I am and I'm not going to react and play this, this part in their story that they're trying to manipulate. Nope, nope, mm-mm. All right, so, okay. Queen of Cups reversed is our first card that we look at. And it is over the cooperative relationships. So it's definitely expressing to us. It's very important. Again, Queen of Cups, I like Cups. Uh, cups are very spiritual, emotional, great for the Pisces energy. Queen of Cups is one of my favorite cards because she's very psychic. She's very like, I like it. I just like her. She's 
you know, peering into something, uh, looking to to the past in some some sense. But reverse, she's actually peering into the future. Her her emotions, her spirituality. She's looking at the future. She's she's, she's not really worried about the past anymore. So it reminds us, you know, channel good energy. And, and and hope and success into our current relationships that we want to cultivate and focus in on our future. And so the Queen of Cups is saying, you know what? Let's have a plan. Let's have a future plan. Mercury is expressing, like, look, this retrograde is great at setting you up for success, but look at your emotional investments. Look at your relationships from, from the emotional standpoint. What is depleting you and what is fulfilling you? And, and, and don't just look at right now. Look at long term. Does that make sense? So look at long term. Look at well, that. Uh, la, la, la. Yeah, that was me. Mm -hmm. There's so much information. It's like, boom. I, <laughs> yeah. If only I had bloopers, I'd be able to cut these things out and just, there's me making all weird faces and, and all that. So Queen of Cups, I entertain myself at least. <laughs> Queen of Cups reverse is about seeing like uh, our psychic energy, our, our psychic experiences, our emotional in experiences, investments, and what is going to help us to grow. So look to the future, look to the next three months and, and say, where do I want to be? And then look right now, what do I need to do now to invest in that's going to help me get there? What is emotionally and spiritually depleting me? And what is fulfilling me? Is what I'm what what I'm feeling that that's being depleted. Do I need to let go of that? Like, is that something I need to let go of, or learn to figure out how to make it work, and then find the steps, take action, make it happen. Whew, okay, coffee is getting to me. I look at the button pusher is a lesson with triggers, that one. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Off topic, it's clear how amazing you are doing. You look great. Thank you. Thank you so kindly. I appreciate it. I mean, I feel I feel really good. Uh, so work with your emotions and go with the flow of that psychic energy. So yes, I like that. I like it a lot. So card two with the tarot is the strength card. Strength is major. Major means big events, major moments, big things, large and in charge. Wonderful. Um, and that's over, I intend to see the best in everyone. It's strength reverse. And I don't want anyone to think, don't look at reversals and, and automatically think, oh, negative. <clears throat> okay. Um, don't think, oh, this is negative, it's bad. Reversals are perfect for Mercury retrograde. Reversals um, are, again, retrograde experiences. It's like uprooting. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's, I'm choking. <sighs> okay, hold on. Let's get through this. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing your time with me. So, strength reversed is saying it's time. Sorry, I'm just trying to like gather my freaking self, choking. <sighs> uh, it's going to take a lot of inner strength <clears throat> to. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? Sugar, it is going to take a lot of inner strength to shift our situation. It's going to take a lot of inner strength to see the best in people, but it is inner strength that is coming out. So your courage, your confidence, things that uh, you might not necessarily feel like you have control of the outside world. Again, that goes really good with I intend to see the best of every in everyone because you're not controlling them. You're not saying because I see you, you're better. No, you're saying that internally, my internal realm, my emotional self, right? My spiritual self, I can focus on seeing the best. I can focus on being better. I can focus on experiencing better and that's an inter this is internal that's an internal thing that's something that we go within we can channel that energy and we can vibe it we can you know match ourselves there and then as we focus within as we you know change that within us and we really feel it we feel the thought process going into this noggin of ours and and we it, it roots in our heart and we feel that energy it courses through our veins and we open our eyes hello hey y'all we open our eyes and that energy is boom. 
You're welcome. Boom, that's it. Our, our energy is like, it expands, it emanates, emanates. Uh, and so we realize this is a lot of internal transformation. What we do within, what, you know, as within, so without, like that, as within, so without, within, so, really, did you see my crack now? I need to cut these things. <clears throat> So it's really not a crack deal. Please don't believe me when I say that shit. Steph, so, tried. Um, but yeah, I like the strength reverse card because it's saying, look, it's going to take inner, you know, inner strength. We're going to have to work on, on being you know, stronger in this situation. We're going to have to work on that, but we can. So Mercury retrograde Pisces realness is going to help us perfect the inner strength, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, Oh, thank you. Uh, it could just mean that you need to push harder and grow stronger as a result. Yes, absolutely. Yes, it can be. It's like, look, focus, focus, focus. Work on it, work on it, work on it. They're going to get you to react. They're going to try to get you to react. They're going to try to to test you. You know, push your buttons. Um, whew, kumbaya. Like, focus on feeling good. Focus on grounding. Focus on being unbothered. I got this. And don't, let me just tell you right now, do not judge yourself. Do not feel bad if like one hoop comes off. You throw one hoop down, you have one Sharpie eyebrow and the, you know, you have like half a flannel or something. And you're like, okay, we're gonna get real here. You know, don't don't judge yourself for experiencing something. Don't judge yourself for, for reacting. It happens, it happens. And even it happens, it's life that happens. We learn, we grow. So card three for this is, I like this card. I like it. Why am I talking like that? King of pentacles, king of coins, king, king, a king of the earth. King of Pentacles, kings obviously very regal, royal. They have their stuff together. Um, the Pentacles, Earth, materialistic, Gaia, uh, just physical, right? Mm hmm. Ooh, sorry. Um, I need to see the best in myself, and I am working on that. I am worthy, I am not dirt. Like I've been led to believe, absolutely. Although I do like dirt, like soil, you know, has its use. But I, I know what you're saying. Um, yeah, and that's the thing. We can apply this to ourselves, especially if we feel that like we need to apply it to ourselves, right? Uh, we are worthy. We are beautiful. We are strong. We are courageous. We are adventurous. And we're going to have really fun times during this retrograde experience. And these cards are setting us up. They're helping to inspire us to, to be successful. Um, so the King of Pentacles, it, it covers beneficial beliefs feel better when I think them. So obviously the King have, have, haves, <sighs> y'all, the words, they are fun to mess up. <laughs> the King of Pentacles has experience, has wisdom, has knowledge, has been through this. So it's saying, look, it's going to take time to put these things into motion, right? It, it's going to take time to work at it. Keep working, keep doing the work, and you will succeed. You know, focus on feeling really good. Again, focus on surrounding yourself. Again, just look at how he looks. He looks surrounded by a lot of stuff. I almost said something else. But he looks comfortable, cozy. Um, he's a king. He's like, mm, I got my stuff. I don't have to worry. But we'll maintain our, our space. But he's cozy. So focus on feeling cozy. Focus on what comforts you. Focus on, you know, feeling really good. Surround yourself with the energies and the people and the situations and the images and yada, yada, yada. All the stuff that... There's a word that just totally went away. Sorry. It calls, you know, sugar. Um, it, it, it's, it's focus on the stuff that you can internally take, right? Mercury, awesome information. Um, these little witches over here, awesome information. This beauty in this deck, awesome information. Y'all talking to me. Wow, thanks. I really mean it. Um, 
<sighs> awesome information. I can take it in. And yes, I feel really good. I love sharing my time with you. I love talking with you. And all of this makes me feel really good and really happy. And, and this is my this is my place. I love what I do. This makes me feel good. And the fact that maybe something that I say, even though I'm rambling, even if it's just for entertainment value, I, I you know, it can look funny too. Um, if you get something from it, that's well worth it. I love it. I love what I do. And, and, and that just makes me feel good, right? So I can take all this in and I feel really good. And when I feel really good, I can focus more on what I really want to create. I want to create for you, right? And so does that make sense? I'm rambling. But I like the King of Pentacles here because he's reminding us, like, look, we got this. We will step into this. It, it does take work, right? It takes work. But we don't have to be perfect. As long as we keep trying, as long as we put one foot after the other, as long as we just keep doing and learning and progressing, it works. <sighs> well, Elisa, we are worthy. So rise and grow. We're zombies. Wait, flower? No. No, we are not. No. You, that just reminded me of um, what's that Brad Pitt zombie movie? World Z, World War, World, something Z that the zombie, those zombies freaked me out. That is probably the zombies we would get. If we got zombies, we would get those zombies because those zombies can run. They are fast and that is not okay with me. No, mm -mm. not good. Patience will get you there. Uh, ugh, bosses. Okay, so yes. Okay, focus. Uh, what messages does Mercury have for us to work through his adventure through Pisces? Well, he's saying, focus on relationships, not just relationships with other people, but your relationships with self, your relationships with other things. So when things are uh, unearthed by Mercury retrograde, when things are challenging, look at your heart, look at your relationship to whatever is challenging or being challenged. And before you react, get that information. This is getting information. Um get that information and and look at the emotional response and see is this going to burn for y'all is this going to help in the next few months is this going to inspire me is this there's an emotional connection here that i need to focus on and and, and feel that cup up uh and, and focus on the next few months or is this just something that's going away do i need to just release it let's let's focus on that and then you know seeing the best in people seeing the best in situations i can that makes me feel good and it's about my feeling it's about my connection so i focus on feeling better i focus on feeling good whether that means um they're choosing to to live up to that or not that's entirely on them but i can see the good in people i can see the good in situations that doesn't mean that i have to stay in a situation because i see good it means that it's going to take inner strength and inner strength will help us persevere not perspire sorry um why? I can't help myself. I don't know. So, you know, inner strength is going to help us thrive during this retrograde. It's going to help us. Uh, we're going to perfect our inner strength skills. We're going to perfect being able to see the best in people and learning when we need to see the best in people. So to make us feel better, right? To help us feel really good because we know what people are capable of or situations are capable of. We can see that, feel that, and embody that. But we can also have the inner strength to move on. We don't have to stay there. That's that's absolutely powerful and liberating. And Mercury is also expressing, like, you know what? When we, we can navigate this retrograde by focusing on knowing that, hey, this takes time, this takes experience, this takes action. But knowing that when we do this, we put these into to motion, we, we take action, we follow through, then we're able to really bring into our experience the things we we want the things that make us feel happy we're going to be secure we're going to be fine fine and understanding not that we're crazy but understanding that when we think about something how it makes us feel is important information when we see something because seeing is over here thinking is right here apparently um when we see something and how it stimulates us whether it's good or bad it's information so navigate through retrograde by paying attention to everything that you're receiving and the response that you get from it, right? 
So, uh, yes, that's it. That's what I'm saying. That's what we're doing here, okay? Uh, so these are the cards of our experience today, right? Yes. And that is what is being expressed. I really thank you all for being here with me. I really appreciate you. I'm going to share something with you really quick. Um, here. Here's a link. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be doing something really cool uh, soon. This is soon. I'm going to be doing something really cool soon. Um, but you're going to have to re uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and it will be giveaways. It will be, you know, engaging. So there, you will be receiving something not just the free content, the awesome content, thank you. Uh, but you'll be receiving something. I'm going to be putting something together soon, so definitely get to that YouTube channel, subscribe. Follow me on social media uh, so you can get updates because I'm going to be, again, like I said a thousand times, I'm going to be implementing something soon where I actually give back more, and I'm happy with that. Uh, and I'm, I am in the works of doing some really cool stuff. I'm... A lot of cool projects I've been crocheting, so um, a lot of cool projects that will be released. I'm putting together some, like, kits and some other cool stuff that I think that you'll really, really like. So the business is, is, is being focused on, and I'm really excited about everything I get to share with you. I'm really happy to be able to be healthy and in a space where I actually feel good, um, because for so long I was not, and I didn't realize how crappy I was feeling, but I feel really good now, and I feel like I'm taking my life and, and making the most of it, and I'm really excited to start sharing more with you. And again, at any time, if you have questions, if you want me to do a video on something specific, feel free. Feel free to comment or just message me. Um, join the Deviant Life group, okay? Uh, that's one of our groups personal, right? You can engage, you can talk, right? So, okay, I'm leaving. I always, I'm, I'm always terrible at, at ending videos. I'm leaving. Join um, the Crystal group, Elisa's Crystal group right here. Join it. Uh, it's in the description box. Uh, Join the group because we're going to be having some really fun in her sale. She's selling crystals. She's selling oil. She's selling some cool stuff. She always finds really cool stuff. We are going to be doing some videos. I'm going to be doing some videos there, some more videos, uh, and some other content that's going to be well worth the, the experience. So I will talk to you soon. Blessed be. And thank you for your time.